Hi everyone, myself Kamal Raj, Assistant Professor, Department of Information Technology, ATK College of Water Science, Coimbatore. Now we are going to discuss about the subject is e-learning. Now first of all, we should know the definition of e-learning. E-learning is nothing but we can learn the things from the computer devices through internet. It is called as e-learning. E-learning is nothing but e-learning is internet enabled learning. The use of internet technologies to deliver a broad array of solutions that enhance knowledge and performance. The truth of e-learning is internet has started reshaping education. Education will not be same in the next decade because of without using ICT tools. There is no going back. The traditional classroom has to be transformed because of the ICT tools. Many universities and colleges may not survive by the end of this decade without using ICT tools. In chalk and board has, not, has long ruled the classrooms. It will not be eliminated. It is very less emphasis. But we, are, but, but, but we are using interactive digital content. It is more emphasis and it is, it is on demand learning and it, is, and it is very interactive. Teaching aids will change. In, uh, in before days, we are using blackboard method and it is moved to OHP and it is moved to TV monitors and computers. Now we are using ICT tools. It is like LCD, uh, personal computer, whiteboard, smartboard, etc. E-learning is an online multimedia learning environment. The teaching and learning is one to one process and it is more interactivity with, uh, with students. And instructional design models are the following. The first model is ADDIE model. The ADDIE model stands for A is, A is analysis and D is for design and another D is for development and I is for implement and finally evaluate the system. The ADDIE model, it is created by the Florida State University in 1975. This model was used to develop training programs for the United States Army. The ADDIE model was developed by the Florida State University in 1975. The second model is SIE model. This is an agile development model created by Michael Allen. The SIM stands for S for successive, A for approximation, and M for model. The SIM model has three phases. The first phase is preparation, the second phase is in iterative design, and the third phase is iterative development. This model is emphasizes on talking small and manageable steps while collaborating with the client at each step and iterating getting closer to the client's expectations. And why we are using some model? First one is information gathering. Gather, gather all background information before jumping into the design aspects. This information helps you, helps you to narrow your facts on the requirements on client by better understanding the organization. The second one is project planning. It deals with assignment project develop, uh, development deals with the affecting online background. Next one is UCD. UCD stands for user centered design. It is a user interface design process that focuses on usability goals, user characteristics, environment, talks, and workflow in the design of an interface. The user process is an iterative process where design and evaluate shapes uh, our built in form first stage of projects through implementation. Why we are using UCD? UCD seeks the answer to what is important to users. The task users do how frequently and what order the user work environment, the user problems and constraints, the user's expectations in terms and functionality. The output required in what form and how can the design product facilitate user and cognitive process. There are multiple principles in UCD. The first principle is set business goal. If determining the target market, intended users and primary competition is central to all design and user participation. The second principle is understanding user. A commitment to understand and involve the intended user essential to design the process. If you want a user to understand the project, you must first understand the user. The third principle is design the total user experience. It is everything a, close, a customer sees, hears, and touches is designed by say, to satisfy user needs. The fourth principle is evaluate designs. 
User feedback is gathered early, often using prototype of widely ranging facility, and its feedback drives product design and development. The fifth principle is assess competitiveness. The competitive design requires a restless focus of focus of the base user currently carry out the task and a determination to make design and value. The sixth principle is managed by continual user observation. Throughout the life of the product, continue to monitor and listen user listen to user and let the feedback inform your responses to market changes and competitive activity. The next one is UCD process. There is four phases of there, there is four process involved in UCD. The first one is requirements gathering. It is understanding and specifying the context of use. The second one is requirement specification. The requirement specification in, in this process specifying the user and organizational environment. The third process is design. The, it is producing designs and prototypes. The last one is evaluation. It is carrying out user-based assessment of the product. Next, we are going to see about the benefits of e-learning. It is very convenient and it is very cost effective and it is very consistent and it is medium range, repeatable, easier to monitor progress. And next we are going to see about the tools of e-learning. The first tool is email. Every teacher should have an email account, then only they can communicate with their students and their parents. The students should uh, can submit assignments through email and it can have attachments, create a fabulous environment and the email is simple but effective and efficient and cost effective. The second tool is online forum. It is an asynchronous discussion forum. The teacher can create discussion groups through online forum. The teacher could post a question and request students to comment. Students can post their comments through online forum. For example, now in our college we are using Google Classroom. It is one kind of online forum. The next tool is web. Web is nothing but wide range of materials are available in website. It is a resource of center, share a sharing of resources supported by images, audio, simulation and multimedia. The next tool is video conference. It can conduct a live lecture. It can communicate, it, it can communicate with students, the communication with parents. It's supported by audio, chat, whiteboard. It can be recorded and later used for an on-demand lectures. Let, let us conclude our session. The ICT and e-learning offers opportunity to raise educational standards in schools. It is a large range of ICT tools are available for teaching and learning. Involvement of teachers and parents is important. Educational institutions will need funding and access and training. Thank you.